What do I mean by issue of shares at par? So, which is exactly the same face value. So, suppose if 100 rupees share is issued at 100 rupees only, then it is called as what? Issue of shares at par. In this problem, we have application stage, allotment stage, first call, second and final call. Under each stages, you have to record two entries each. Four feature means what? Cancellation of those shares for not paying either allotment money or first and final call money. So those shares will be cancelled. It is called as four feature. Hello everyone, I am Harshita, lecturer, Department of Commerce, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. My dear students, today I am in the third session of Unit 2 and the Unit 2 name is Issue of Shares and this is for second sem BBA students and the subject name is Financial Accounting and Reporting. So in a previous session, we have learnt about the theoretical concept of this particular unit that is about Issue of Shares. So in today's session, we are going to discuss a problem. Before that, we shall recall what we have discussed in your previous session. So we have learned about what is the meaning of share. So a part of your share capital is called as what? Share, where it has been divided into number of small units. So each unit is called as what? Share. And one whole share is called as shareholders. Now why the company is going to issue shares to the public in order to raise the capital for the company. Okay. So so that is about your shares. Now the shares can be issued in the installment. So it may be in the application stage, allotment stage, first call, second call or first and final call. So like that they are going to issue in the form of installments. At the same time, shares can be issued at par, premium as well as discount. So most of the time shares are issued at par as well as premium. So what do you mean by issue of shares at par? So which is exactly the same face value. So suppose if 100 rupees share is issued at 100 rupees only, then it is called as what? Issue of shares at par. Then what is issue of shares at premium? If it is more than the par value, suppose 100 rupees share is being issued at rupees 150, then it is known as what? Issue of shares at premium. Issue of shares at discount, which means that less than the par value, suppose 100 rupees share is issued at rupees 80, then it is called as what? Issue of shares at discount. Next, what we have discussed, so we have learned what are the journal entries we have to record in the books of account during issue of shares, that is your accounting treatment. Now, there are two types of shares, they are preference shares as well as equity shares. So, what do I mean by preference shares? So, they will have preferential right in payment of dividend at the same time repayment of capital during winding up of the company and under preference share there is a fixed rate of interest. So, every year they will get a fixed rate of interest for the preference shareholders. But coming to your equity shares, so equity share is bit risky. So, when they don't get a fixed rate of return that is fixed rate of dividend so when the company earns more profit they'll get they'll get higher rate of dividend and when the company earns less profit they'll get less rate of dividend whereas in preference share if there is a loss so your dividend will accumulate for the next month or next year but here in case of equity share, your dividend does not accumulate. But the benefit for the equity shareholders, so they are called as real owners of the business where, so they will be having the voting rights and through their vote, they will appoint the board of directors and board of directors will undertake the affairs of the company. So this is about your shares, types of shares. So how the accounting treatments are made and how the shares are being issued and at the same time, so how the amount will be collected. So it will be in the form of installments. So if you go through your question paper, definitely you will get a 10 marks question on issue of shares. Okay. So let us begin the problem here. Excel Company Limited issued 10,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each payable. So, 3 on application, 3 on allotment and 2 on first and final call and 2 on second and final call. So, how the allotment is being made or how the installments are there. So, the uh, share value is 10 rupees where 10 is on application, 3 on allotment. 
two on first call and two per share on second and final call. All the shares were fully subscribed and paid. Uh, give journal entries in the books of company. So this is a very simple problem where you have to record the journal entries. So if you are a commerce student, so already you have learned this in your second PUC. Okay. So let us go through the solution here. So first, so uh, there are stages. So under each stage, so we'll be having two entries each. So under application stage, two entries. Under allotment stage, two entries. Under first call, two entries. Under first, second and final call, two entries. Now first entry is for receiving of application money. So your entry will be bank account data to equity share application account. What is the number of shares? 10,000. And the application money is? 3 rupees. So, so 10,000 into 3, so that will be 30,000. Your entry will be bank account data to equity share application account. So, your narration can be in your own words. So, your narration will be being application money received on 10,000 shares of rupees 3 each. Next second entry is for transfer of application money. So, where you are going to transfer to the share capital account. So, what is your entry? Equity share application account data to equity share capital account. Narration being application money transfer to equity share capital account with the same amount that is 30,000. Now, come to the second stage that is allotment stage. So, your Entry will be for allotment money due. So, what is entry? Equity share allotment account data to equity share capital account. Narration being allotment money due on 10,000 shares of rupees 3 per share. So, what is allotment money? That is 3. So, 10,000 into 3. So, it will be 30,000. Your fourth entry is for allotment stage itself. That is your fourth entry, allotment money received. So your entry will be bank account data to equity share allotment account with the same amount 10,000 into 3. Narration being share allotment money received on 10,000 shares of rupees 3 each. So it will be 30,000. Now come to your next stage that is first and final call where you have to record two entries. One entry is for due, the other entry is for received. So what is a due entry? Equity share first and final call account data to equity share capital account. Narration being equity share first and final call money due on 10,000 shares at rupees 2 per share. How it is 2? Your call money is how much? First and final call money 2 rupees. So 2. So, how much you will gain? That is 20,000. Next, sixth entry, that is receiving of first and final call money. Your entry will be bank account data to share first and final call account. Narration being equity share first and final call money received on 10,000 shares of rupees 2 per share. So, that will be 20,000. Now, we have last stage that is second and final call where the amount per share is how much? 2 per share. So, you have to write the entry for due entry that is equity share second and final call account data to equity share capital account. So, 10,000 into 2 rupees. 10,000 into 2. So, that will be 20,000. Next, receiving of second and final call money bank account data to Equity share second and final call account. So, narration being share second and final call money received. Okay. So, 10,000 into 2. So, that will be 20,000. So, easy to remember. So, under there are four stages. So, in this problem, we have application stage, allotment stage, first call, second and final call. Under each stages, you have to record two entries each. So, in your first uh, situation, that is, your entry will be receiving of application money, transfer of application money. Now in allotment stage, allotment money due, allotment money received. Third stage that is first call, first call money due and first call money received. Fourth stage, second and final call, second and final call money due and second and final call money received. So hope you are clear about a, this is a very simple problem. Now moving on to the next problem. So this is a situation where issue of shares at par with forfeiture and reissue. So we have already discussed many problems in your second PUC that is regarding your forfeiture as well as reissue. Okay. So go through here. X company limited issued 10,000 shares of rupees 100 each. So here this is a situation where shares are issued at 
par which means that 100 rupees share is issued at 100 rupees only so this is issue of shares at par okay so x limited issue 10000 shares of rupees 100 each the amount was payable as follows now let us see how this 100 rupees is being paid okay so 100 rupees is a value of share where they are going to pay 10 on application so 10 rupees on application then 40 rupees per share on allotment so 40 on allotment and 50 per share on first time final call so 50 on first and final call overall it will be 100 rupees next what they have told so and duly received except the first and final call on 2000 shares now 2000 shareholders so they have not paid first and final call money so here 2000 shareholders so how many shareholders are there 10000 shareholders out of 10000 2000 shareholders have not paid first time final call money okay the directors forfeited these shares and reissued at rupees 80 per share as fully paid up past the journal entries so at what price they have reissued they have reissued at discount okay now so i have told you under each situation you have to record two entries each now come to the application stage so first entry is for receiving of application money next transfer of application money so go through the entries so first entry bank account data to equity share application account what is the number of shares 10,000 and the application money is 10 rupees so 10,000 into 10 so it will be 1 lakh narration being application money received on 10,000 shares of rupees 10 each second entry is transfer entry so you are going to transfer your application money to where equity share capital account so what is your entry equity share application account data to equity share capital account narration being application money transfer to equity share capital account with the same amount so these two entries for application stage now come to the allotment stage so allotment stage you have to record two entries one is due other one is received okay so what is the due entry so due entry will be equity share allotment account data to equity share capital account so what is the number of shares 10,000 into 40 rupees because it is issued at par so there is no premium so 10,000 into 40 so this will be 4 lakh and the narration is being allotment money due on 10,000 shares of rupees 40 each. Next is receive entry, receiving of allotment money your entry will be bank account data to equity share allotment account. 10,000 into 40 so that is how much 4 lakh narration being share allotment money received on 10,000 shares of rupees 10 each now come to the next stage that is first and final call money where you have to record two entries due entry as well as receive so what is the due entry equity share first and final call account data 10,000 into 50 to equity share capital account being share first and final call money due on 10,000 shares of rupees 50 each. So this will be 5 lakh. Now coming to receive. So how many shareholders they have not received here? That is 2,000 shareholders. So from the 2,000 shareholders we have not received first and final call money. So how you have to calculate 10,000 minus 2,000 in the sense only 8,000 shareholders only from the 8,000 shareholders we have received first and final call money. So what is your entry? So entry is same receiving of first and final call money bank account data. So if you see the entry here bank account data to share first and final call account but you are not going to take 10,000 you are going to take only 8,000 because 2,000 shareholders out of 10,000 shareholders 2,000 shareholders have not paid first and final call money. So 10,000 minus 2,000 so it will be 8,000 into 50 rupees so it will be 4 lakh narration being first and final call money received on 8000 shares of rupees 50 each so hope you are clear till here next after this so you are done with all the stages now 2000 shareholders who have not paid so they have clearly told the directors forfeited so forfeited means what forfeiture means what so the shares will be cancelled 
So those shares will be cancelled which is not being paid. So those 2000 shares who have not paid their first and final call money, their shares will be cancelled. So that is known as what? Forfeiture. So forfeiture means what? Cancellation of those shares for not paying either allotment money or first and final call money. So those shares will be cancelled. It is called as forfeiture. So you have to record entries for forfeiture. So how many entries we are going to forfeit or cancel? 2000 shares who have not paid and your entry will be equity share capital account data to forfeited shares account to equity share first and final call account. So it means that so out of 2000 shares so from the 2000 shareholders how much amount we had to receive 100 rupees. So 2000 into 100 goes for equity share capital account so that will be 2 lakh. Two forfeited shares account. So out of 100 rupees, how much we have received? So we have received application as, al as well as allotment money. Correct? So how much out of 100 rupees, how much we have received? We have received application as well as allotment money. So this will be 10 plus 40. 50 rupees we have received. How much we have not received in your first and final call? 50 rupees you have not received. So 50 rupees we have received. And 50 rupees we have not received from the 2000 shareholders. So your entry will be equity share capital account 2000 into 100. That is the actual value of share. Two forfeited shares account. How much we have received? We have received 10 on application plus 40 on allotment. So 50 rupees we have received. So this will be 1 lakh. Two equity share first and final call. So that will be how much? Amount we have not received 50 rupees. 50 rupees on first and final call. So 2000 into 50. So this will be 1 lakh. So your narration will be being 2000 shades forfeited for not paying first and final call money. So once again I'll repeat. So 100 rupees we had to receive from 2000 shareholders. But how much we have received? We have received application and allotment money where first and final call money we did not receive. So Whatever we have received, it has to go for forfeited shares account. So, 10 rupees on application and 40 rupees on allotment we have received. So, overall it is 50 rupees. So, 2000 into 50. How much we have not received in your first and final call? 50 rupees. So, 2000 into 50. So, hope you are clear about this entry. Now, coming to your eighth entry, this is for reissue. So whatever 2000 shares what we have cancelled again we are going to reissue. At what price we have reissued? We have reissued at rupees 80 per share. Correct? 100 rupees shares we have reissued at rupees 80 which means that we have reissued at discount. So your entry will be bank account data 2000 into 80 rupees. So we are going to issue that 2000 shares once again at rupees 80. So 2000 into 80 1 lakh 60,000. What does the discount? That has to be transferred to forfeited shares account 2000 into 20 to share capital. So what was the actual value of shares? 100 rupees. So 2000 into 100 will go for share capital account. Narration being 2000 shares forfeited reissued at rupees 80 per share. So hope you are clear about reissue entry. Now your last entry is for what? Your forfeited shares has to be transferred to capital reserve. Your entry will be forfeited shares account data to capital reserve account being forfeited shares transferred to capital reserve. Now how do you take the amount for this? So see the seventh entry in your forfeited shares account. What is the amount we have? 1 lakh. Correct? In the eighth entry for the forfeited shares account, the amount is 40 rupees. Sorry, 40,000. So, 1 lakh minus 40,000, the difference amount goes for your last entry. Forfeited shares account data to capital reserve. So, 1 lakh minus 40,000. So, this will be 60,000. So, hope you are clear. So, your narration will be your forfeited shares account uh, transfer to capital reserve. Being forfeited shares account transfer to capital reserve. So, that would be the narration. So, this was a simple problem. So, if you learn one particular problem of your issue of shares, so you can solve any of the problem in your question paper. So, hope you are clear about this problem. So, my dear students, hope you have understood today's session. See you all in my next session with a new concept. Till then, take care. Thank you.